Hello, and welcome to Austin Tactical. You guessed it. Today we'll be reviewing the Baofeng UV5R FM radio transceiver. This radio operates on both the 2 meter band and the 70 centimeter band. Let's take a quick overview of the box. All right, unboxing. everything comes in the box. The included manual is in Chinglish, but still very serviceable. The assembly is pretty easy. You just need a small Phillips screwdriver to screw on the belt clip to the back, pop your battery in, put your antenna on the top, and you're good to go. Let's do a quick overview now. The radio has a power knob and volume control integrated in one on top. There's a push to talk button over on your left side. Uh, the call button, you push and hold it to play your ringtone, or press it briefly to turn on the onboard FM radio. The monitor button, you just press it briefly to turn on the LED flashlight on top, an interesting feature, or press and hold it to monitor the frequency. It has two modes of operation on this radio. Uh, you press the orange key and you can swap between frequency mode, where you key in the frequency manually, or channel mode, where you can have it remember all of your frequency offsets and any other settings. You can program those channels using the PC software you can get afterwards. It has two different frequencies. Uh, you can swap between very easily. You can even have it monitor both at the same time. Obviously, it operates on two bands. You can use the band button to swap, or you can manually key in the frequency with the keypad, and it'll automatically select the band. So you never really need to use that button. Here, I type in 450 megahertz, and it automatically selects the 70 centimeter band. The menus can be a bit confusing because of the acronyms and abbreviations, but the the Manual includes a list of what all those means, so it really helps get through that. You can also, of course, use the PC software, which you can get afterwards, the programming cable, to go through that. The port for your earpiece is on the right side. The earpiece is of pretty low quality, but it works as a start. You can get better ones online. The overall construction of the radio is very good. It's got a very, very sturdy, amazingly good plastic housing, and, of course, the belt clip on back. The antenna is um, of decent quality. Well, I'll go ahead and look at the pros and cons. The first thing is that it works and it's cheap. You can get it between $20 and $30 online. The battery lasts a very long time, just sitting there, not transmitting or receiving, you know, many, many hours. It includes everything you need in the package for one transceiver and the charger, the earpiece, it includes the battery, and the antenna. It has a good range through uh, hills and woods. You can get up to a couple miles, um, and that is a adverse conditions. Line of sight is going to be a good, good bit further than that. As far as the cons, the only thing I can really find wrong with it is that it's not waterproof or sealed against the elements. So you're going to have to keep it clean and dust free and dry in order to get good performance. So let's go ahead and look at what the audio quality is. We'll be conducting all of these tests at different ranges. At 446 megahertz, I will be using two Baofeng UV5R radios. We are at approximately 100 yards, line of sight. Good signal. False and tactical reporting from half a mile behind a hill and dense woods. False and tactical reporting from one mile. False and tactical calling from two miles. recommend the Baofang UV5R for your tactical toolkit? The short answer is yes. If you want to be working with anyone other than yourself, you're going to need to be able to communicate in a tactical situation. And the UV5R from Baofang does a very good job of doing it. And I keep several in my tactical toolkit. The Baofang UV5R uses the 70 centimeter and 2 meter amateur radio bands. The laws for the use of these bands will vary from country to country, but the one basic guideline you should keep in, in mind when using these radios is to not step on anyone's toes. In other words, wait till the frequency is clear before transmitting, and only use the power you need to com complete your mission. While you like and subscribe to my video below, go ahead and head out to ebay.com and take a look at our Hoffman Tactical Electronic Earmuff Covers for the Howard Light Impact Pro. Thank you for watching.